gonna practice some nunchago on Bob. For close range, you can do stuff like this, clinching. You could even uh, use it to manipulate if you want to take him down, use the nunchago to bring him out of balance and sweep the leg. A little bit difficult than this one. So this is a good grip for close range. Or you could try and maintain distance at kicking range. Let's do that one more time. That's more like it. A lot of times when kicking, I'll use this stance where I keep control of the weapon unless I'm swinging it for a circular kick like before, but something like this. And then you can always strike. You can visualize Bob attacking you, like if it's a weapon, perhaps he's swinging an axe towards you and you block with the chain and you do like a kick or something and knock him down. Or perhaps it's something like a punch or something where you block like this, using this as further extension beyond your reach. You could even do something fancy like this, although that's not as realistic for a real fight. It's uh, much more simple to simply block a hook like this. And yeah. Fight towards the legs. Up high. So, all kinds of things you can do. I lost my shoe. That makes for a distraction or a weapon as well. Anyways, I hope you had fun watching and this gave you some ideas for ways to practice Nanjago beyond just spinning it and <laughs> trying to increase your speed. Thanks for watching. After years of free content, I need a helping hand from some of you. You can support me with $3 each month or 5 or 10 for a few extra benefits. Thanks for listening. Visit my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash sendragon.